Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we got something a little exciting for you. As always, today we're going to try out one of Harbor Freight's little dent repair kits. Here's the um, crossbar dent repair kit. Item number 66957. They normally run for about $19.99 or you can get it maybe sometimes on sale for $13.99. Just depends on when you go. Now, this kit also includes the um, glue gun, dent lifters, crossbar with wing nut, but adhesive sticks the releasing agent and a finishing tool all right and these uh will pop out little dents nothing too serious and we got a dent but we're going to test it on my wife's uh 2013 mustang gt has a little d dent up there in the um roof not sure how she got it but she got it there it's not bad but it is a little obvious so my goal here with this today is Either to get it where it comes out good, or at least make it less noticeable. All right, that would. So I'm going to put my expectation bar there as less noticeable. So that way, if we do any better, I will be extremely happy and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. This kit looks easy. My dad's already used it on his truck, and I remember seeing the dent on his truck. It was a little bit of a deep dent, and it actually pulled it out. He just said he just did it a couple of times. And it pulled it out fairly decent where it wasn't totally bad. You can't even notice it. It's got a few little spots, but it wasn't bad. So let's go ahead and go over to the Mustang, and I'll show you guys that spot real fast. All right, guys, there's my wife's 2013 Ford Mustang GT with that gotta go green. Boy, is it green. All right, guys, it's in really good shape here. So let's look at this dent here. You might not be able to see in the video. I'll do my best to get some different light angles. But let's see if you can kind of see it. It is... Uh, right about in here see if I can get around and see if you can kind of you probably can't see it very good in the video but there's a slight dent about right in here I'm trying to see if I can get some light there you go you can probably see the little crease right there just barely in the video but there's a little bitty it's nothing too bad and we're gonna see if um this kit will get it out now I've seen people do with some hot water, pour down there with a plunger, you know, pull out big ones. But this one's a little, little one, not too bad. So we're going to follow the instructions on the kit that comes with it and see what we can do. So let me get this thing set up and I'll try to run it with through so you guys can see how I do this and maybe you can try it for yourself. But yeah, you can't really see it, but it is a little noticeable if you get under some light here, even though I'm right underneath my light here. But... Yeah, it's just a little one. So let's see if I can get that going. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get the glue gun plugged in and get the stick in. And it takes about 15 minutes to warm up our, so is the instructions set. In the meantime, let's go ahead and clean that spot up. So I got some household cleaner right there. So let's go ahead and clean that spot up and then we'll wait. While you're waiting for the glue gun to warm up here, go ahead and take your fittings here that you get. And see which one's going to be the best one so you can go ahead and get an idea of what you're going to need to do. And for right now, for our little, we're going to be using this one right here because that one it suits our needs just perfect. It's not that wide and it's long and it's narrow and I might be able to pick up a bigger section by picking up on it. Alright, so let's hope this one will work. I think that one will be our best bet. Put that off to the side and then we'll get ready to do this. All right, when your glue gun's ready, or just right before it's ready, go ahead and put some of this release agent on the spot where you want it to go. And then get your hot glue gun and go ahead and get it going here. I won't be able to show you because I'm going to need both hands to set all this. But it'll be real easy. Okay, you can see that I got it glued on there. Basically, after you put the release agent on there, just glue a spot and you take it and you push this down and you hold it for 10 seconds. Then you can let go. And then we should be just about ready to go ahead and set up our device there and pull up. So let me go ahead and set our device here. Okay, we've got the crossbar set in place. Everything's adjusted. It just slips on like that. It was not a big deal. All right, and we just tighten these down right where we thought we'd want them. And then you'll have a little knob here. We take down, and we're going to tighten it up. All right. Go ahead and... Uh, there we go. And basically, we're going to... According to the instructions, we need to do this until the metal gets to the right spot where it's supposed to be. Then we can stop. All right, and so we're gonna keep doing that, and hopefully we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna try to. 
turn this and um, do film and try to make sure the dent gets in the right back to where it should be. Now, I should note, if I didn't say this earlier, that when you place this, you need to put this in the center of the dent, according to the instructions, which is also something I should probably state, but you need to read the instructions, you know. I know how those guys can be. We don't read instructions, but definitely need to read the instructions on something like this. Because my wife made it clear to me that if I screw this up, it is somehow my fault, even though she dented it. Oh no! And it <laughs> oh no! And it fell right off. Well, that didn't go as planned. All right, let's try that again. I just can I cannot believe that thing just fell right off. Look at that. See, I am using the instructions. Number two, use clean cloth, clean dent in areas with release engine agent then apply heated glue from the geek gun to the end of the desired pull tab what that's exactly what i did and it fell apart oh man this is gonna take a little bit more work than i thought yeah fair heck with the instructions okay round two i feel like we're gonna be victorious this time so let's give it a shot here all right tighten her down all right starting to feel the pressure now Oh no! Let's see what happened. Did we get something? I can't tell. I feel like the glue was just been ready to. Really? Let's see if we did any good. I'm starting to have my doubts. I'm glad I didn't spend money on this. Let's see. Well, actually. Yeah, it kind of pulled it out a little bit. Not too bad. You can, if you look right at the light, you can, yeah. Actually, it didn't do too bad. Might do this a couple of times here and I think we'll get it good. Okay, I take it back. It did great. Did good. Actually, it made it just a little bit non-noticeable. No, not too bad. All right, we're gonna do this a few more times here. And then I'll show you guys the final result after I give up on doing this. All right, guys, I have officially run out of hot glue. I didn't really have much left, about a little bit less than a stick. But I was able to do a little bit, but not really a whole lot. You can still see, if you look right, you can see where it's just a little bit. Uh, it made it a little bit better. You know, as I stated in the beginning of the video, I'm going to keep my expectations pretty low. And we have kind of met those. <laughs> so it's a little bit less noticeable. It's still there. But it's not noticeable from a distance. You know, as long as I keep a 10-foot border around, you really can't notice it too bad. But um, but if you rub your hand across here, you can still feel it. And honestly, it can still be getting out. It's not bad. It did pull out a little bit. And I'm going to probably say that if I would have had about another couple of sticks of hot glue, I probably could have done a lot better job in getting this thing pulled out, which I will do at a later time. But today... I want to show overall I'm not entirely impressed with the kit it did do what it's supposed to I mean for $13 I guess you can't really complain too much I mean but it did pull some of it out but not as much as I'd like but that's why I kept my expectations low so I am not disappointed <laughs> in that regard I didn't have high hopes I was hoping for high hopes anyway so let's go ahead and wrap this up guys all right, I'm back from the store, and I got a couple more glue sticks, and I was able to play with this for a few more hours, and I've actually gotten the dent out really well. I mean, it, you can't really see it. You can kind of feel it a little bit. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's really not noticeable, and it's very hard to see. I'm sure some of you can see maybe there's a little bit, but it's not too bad. And there's a little bit of, I gotta say, there's a little bit of a learning curve for this little thing right here. Um... I learned that you need to hold pressure on what well, the instructors say hold pressure on it for about 10 seconds which I would do but you need to let it sit there and dry until it the uh, the super glue comes a little foggy uh, foggy that means it starts curing drying so wait that and then you can pull it out and you'll have a lot better results also learned that you need to have all these make sure all these holes are cleared and there's a hole in the center I, yeah, I got to clean this one out so that way the super glue would grab and if you do that, it should come, and honestly, you'll have some good results. It was a lot better than I expected, but there's a little bit of a learning curve to this thing. And once you get it, it's actually not terribly too bad. I'm still going to rate it about a 3 out of a 5 set. 
but otherwise for this little dent it did great so we're gonna wrap it up now all right guys i'm gonna give you my ending thoughts here on this kit but it is a halfway decent kit it's not really something you know i i think in my opinion i'd probably spend a little bit extra money to get a little better kit they got plenty of them on amazon where you can find them for like 30 40 bucks and they come with a lot more of these fittings different shapes sizes and it comes with a hot glue gun and the crossbar and different you know different little for different scenarios that have a i feel like they're a little bit better i mean if you just want to pay a little you know if you're on a budget and you just want to get some dents out this will work it's a slow game though let me tell you it's a slow going i'd probably be there for about maybe two hours trying to get that dent out and it would come out it will come out eventually but you know like i said this is like a little mediocre kit for 13 dollars it for with the price it's not as bad but i didn't feel like it was doing as good as it could it might have been me i read the instructions dang it i did read the instructions i know i did <laughs> the darn thing fell off on that epic fail right there oh my goodness so i would give this a three out of maybe a three out of five maybe more like 2.5 maybe two Maybe a little over two. It's kind of between a two and a three right now, but a five. It's it's up to you. I mean, for thirteen bucks, you really can't go wrong in that regard. It does the job, but you better have some patience with it. That's all I can say about it. And I I haven't tried out the big kits, but I've been looking on Amazon because I thought about buying some of these, about a kit like this, and they had a lot more stuff. So I figure for you know, maybe twenty bucks or thirty up to forty dollars, you can get a whole lot better kit with a whole lot more options. And it may do better. I don't know. Maybe that'll be for another video we'll do. If I ever get one of those. Alright guys. We're going to sign off here today. It has been fun. So let me know what you guys think about this. In the um, comment sections. If you guys have used it. Had good luck. Let's let our other subscribers know. If anyone else has done good. Or if they've done poorly. Let's hear your story. Also if you um, haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe we do all kinds of stuff we do harbor freight tool reviews we do gold wing video repair tips and we do some other car tech tip videos but i try to hit on whenever i can so guys that's it i will see you later and you guys stay safe out there.